agreed he could go down on me even though I don't enjoy receiving oral sex, and all I got was this lousy STD. Guy I was dating didn't know he had oral herpes, or that cold sores equals herpes, let alone that you could pass oral herpes to genitals through oral sex. I went on vacation, agreed he could go down on me even though I don't enjoy receiving oral sex, and all I got was this lousy STD for the rest of my life. And it's kinda shitty situation too. The guy I got it from, before our relationship became sexual, I asked the question if he has or have ever had an STD. I made the mistake of asking him like that instead of just asking have you been tested for an STD since your last relationship? I always got tested between each relationship and I, assumed other people my age and in the city I was in kept up to date on that sort of thing. He told me that no, he hasn't ever had an STD. The thing is, people can have herpes while never showing any symptoms of it. The other thing is, ha s fow 1, typically oral herpes, and ha s fow 2, typically genital herpes, can actually infect the other area. Now. I don't like receiving oral sex and every guy I've been with has said the same thing, well, you've never been with me. So on vacation, he pushed the idea to let me let him try. So I let him go down on me. I didn't care for it as usual, but whatever. A few days after we got back from vacation I started to have some discomfort down there. Itch. A little burning. I thought maybe it might be a UTI. And then came extreme discomfort and extreme pain. I honestly felt like someone was just constantly cutting my vulva with a razor blade. It was constant pain and now I was having trouble going to the bathroom. I made an appointment with my doctor, but the next day and no sign of it going away, I hurried over to an urgent care and told them everything. They did an examination, it was so early in the outbreak that I actually didn't have any ulcers yet. They did think I had an STD though and with how much discomfort I was in, they decided to give me the treatments for both gonorrhea and chlamydia before test results. I can't remember which one it was for, but one of the treatments was a large all at once dose of antibiotics and I remember the nurse tell me this will make you throw up. Try not to for as long as possible. I took it before going to bed thinking I could just sleep through it. 4 hours I woke up and vomited immediately. Day 3 and nothing was letting up. I considered this to be the most painful experience I have ever had. Partially because of how many days it lasted and also because, I couldn't go to the bathroom anymore. It hurt so badly. I tried biting down on something and forcing myself to go to the bathroom, but I just couldn't. The second I would start to, I can't really explain just how painful it was. I would stop immediately and start crying. Day 4 and I had been losing sleep. Due to pain and a constant urge to go, but I was refusing to. I got the test results saying good news. You don't have gonorrhea and chlamydia. Great. I'm still in pain. And they can't help you when you're not in the office. I kinda lost it at this point and so a friend forced me to go to the ER. I was sleep deprived, hadn't gone to the bathroom in 4 days, and still in so much pain. Doctor took one look at my genitals and said, you have herpes. By that time a lot of ulcers formed. He still ran a test and yeah, it came back positive. But while I was there in the hospital, and with seeing just how much pain I was in, he explained that unfortunately there isn't really anything they can do for the pain outside of a topical anesthetic. He handed over a big tube of it to me and said I should try to go to the bathroom on my own and if not, they will get a catheter put in me. I was extremely embarrassed by the idea of having a catheter so I just forced myself to go. It still hurt quite a lot, but I did get some relief and went home. I went home and later that day I talked to my boyfriend at the time. I had texted him that I was going to the ER so he called me to see how I was. That's when I told him what was up. He was so surprised. He explained that his last girlfriend, a very long relationship, didn't have herpes and he had only been with her before me. He went and saw his doctor and a few days told me that he only has oral herpes, but he knew that. And then that really shitty feeling sunk in. He had had cold sores before but didn't know that was herpes and he had never been tested for STDs before? 
It sucked. I felt like I had always been so careful and so smart about having safe sex and I got it simply because I agreed to do something I don't enjoy anyway. After that I would have another outbreak every 3 or 4 weeks. Not as bad as the first, but pretty bad. So my doctor put me on a daily medication routine. I've had it for 8 years now. I don't really have outbreaks much anymore. I had one last year and before that I think it had been 4 years. For most people, an outbreak isn't that bad. But my first outbreak was the most painful thing I had experienced. I have been turned down by people because of it, but I mean, I don't look down on them for that. It hurts and it is disappointing, but I understand why someone wouldn't want to have sex with me. With that said, I'm married and have been with this guy for over 6 years. He's been with me for 2 outbreaks so far. He even gets tested now and then and he still hasn't gotten it. 